Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today's project is something kind of new and exciting to me, and uh, some of y'all would think that this is going to be helpful. Uh, a lot of times, um, you know, getting into the RCs, there's going to be some stuff like you'll find a cool model out there that you're going to really want to run, but you'll find that it's a nitro vehicle. You can pick them up for a very good deal, but the main thing that you're going to find with nitros, like a lot of times you're buying them second hand or third hand, you're going to find the engines might be tore up uh, or you just don't want to deal with the whole nitro fuel and tuning. So I've came across an exciting product today and as I build uh, my new basher, I'm going to kind of bring you all along on this one. Um, let me get y'all set up on the tripod and we can All go right, guys, there. this is what I have today uh, to kind of show y'all. Um, a lot of you guys that are have nitro vehicles, you'll have different sizes. This one, I believe, is what uh, it's, uh, this is for the .21 and bigger, I guess they call it big block nitro engines. After picking up a couple of uh, different motors, or I'm sorry, picking up a couple of different cars, uh, just happened to be they all took the bigger class uh, nitro engines. And this might just work for some of the smaller cars, give or take. You'd have to experiment. I found this on eBay. It was, uh, I believe the seller's name was Liquid Racing. This is actually made by um, Hot Racing. It's hotracing.com. Get you a little close-up shot. It's a pretty interesting product. I haven't uh, seen these before, really. They're hard to find in the stores. One day I was at work. I came across it on uh, eBay. So I went ahead and ordered two of them because I have two different vehicles I'm going to be doing conversions on. They are a little pricey. I believe the price was like around uh, $67 with shipping. So from what I've heard and I've asked around, a couple of guys have told me that's actually a very good price. This is the uh, one of them I still have in the pack. And what I have here is one of them that I've already opened. I'm getting ready to start assembling it. And if you notice, you got... Little, uh, you got your bearing, you got your gears. Uh, it basically comes up ready to go for your um, for your motor conversion. And what I'm using is the Hobbywing uh, Poseidon motor. It's pretty cool. This motor's got a lot of torque. Um, for what I'm, I'm putting this in a 4x4 Duratrax conversion. The only thing you're going to really be required to purchase besides for the the main kit, which is your transmission adapter you're going to be required to buy two different gears and what I have here is the gear I've chosen let me see where I've put it this is going to be the one coming off the motor that one's going to be I believe a mod 8 so I'm trying a 17 tooth it's a 5 millimeter shaft and the other one is I believe a 15 tooth mod 1 so this is I know it's going to fit in the vehicle I've already kind of test fitted everything um, Pretty simple, straightforward to assemble. There's nothing major with this. You are going to have to remove, once you get the kit, you'll have to remove one, two, three, four, five, six different screws. That one is important. This one's going to actually go through the little shaft right there, and that's all of them help keep everything lined up, centered, and the little motor cover to protect your gears. So, Besides that, um, one issue, I was at one of the local hobby shops and one of the gentlemen noticed I had an issue and that's if you put the motor directly on, you're going to kind of notice if you see it right there in the video, you notice the shaft itself sticks out way past the gears and one of the issues that I found off the bat, if you notice it's going to leave a little gap, um, everything's going to hit. One of the gentlemen I ran into, which I'm going to definitely use him to make me some more custom parts, he custom made me a carbon fiber little spacer. I believe it was a 2 mil and a 1 mil or something equivalent, or 2 mils, uh, I believe it's actually, you can kind of see there, it's actually 2 mil, two different pieces of 2 mil, um, he glued them together, machined it out, he took all the specs for me. So that's kind of pretty cool, carbon fiber. So little carbon fiber spacer goes on there goes through all the holes already been everything has been uh, machined out for me so what it does if you notice there it kinda keeps everything right in line so uh, pretty much like I said this is pretty well um, pretty well easy to assemble <clears throat> what we gotta make sure is to use some uh, thread locker of sorts this particular motor has enough torque that over time what's going to happen if you don't use any kind of a thread locker it's just going to basically just pull your bolts out it's just going to literally just loosen them up 
then you're going to start getting motor slop and that can destroy gears. Um, first order of business, go ahead and assemble this pretty well straightforward. Take the two screws that I got that uh, hold all this down. I'm going to go ahead and thread lock them in. Uh, go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to do this off camera so we don't just use up a lot of video time for nothing. Thread lock them. Go ahead and measure everything up. Start sticking it through. Get the motor bolted up. So I'll go ahead and do that and we'll move on to step two. Pretty straightforward assembly. All right. Uh, it's kind of a pain. It's really cool. Um, if you're going to assemble this, go ahead and put your uh, your little hex. Go ahead and just put it right on your tool. Get everything lined up. And I would I have to do mine like this so I could go ahead and get the first one started. But right now everything's started and you see everything's kind of loose. And what I've done is went ahead and left it like that. What I'm doing right now is just getting my gear, um, getting my little gear on, and oop, trying not to block the camera doing all this. But I mean, it's pretty well straightforward for a lot of you guys that build RCs, and it kind of helped to grab the correct one. This should be one a two millimeter for this one. It's a pretty big gear. It kind of helps to actually pay attention while you're doing this. Otherwise, you're going to look like a goofball like me right now on camera. But it's all right like to get everything lined up just right make sure everything is done go ahead and center down I'm trying to stay on frame it's kinda of hard doing this in filming and of course just check your gear mesh and I kinda of goofed up I need to go ahead and back this out but anyway like I said mostly straightforward nothing uh, nothing uh, really major with this setup real particular how I get uh, how I get stuff done but I kind of miss being in the big shop working on big stuff so I really wanted to start building something and it's just like anything else once you get that uh, done go ahead get your gear meshed up right go ahead and uh, get the motor tightened up and that's what I'm getting ready to do right now and that's what it's two and a half <clears throat> for these back here now yours might be different I'm just glad uh, the gentleman Greg that uh, made me that spacer motor plate. He uh, has a bunch, num numerous amounts of uh, little screws and bolts. So we went ahead and provided me with some. And that right there, if you see by turning this, done deal. Everything's meshed up here. And what I like to do is I've got a little tube of some Permatex white lithium grease. Now, everybody's kind of funny on how they do things. I like to have everything greased up, especially metal to metal. So all I'm doing is just putting a little dab here, a little dab there, and just go ahead and get all that moving. Because of metal to metal, I do like to have some kind of uh, have some kind of grease on there. Because I mean, uh, you know, with high torque and everything else, you really don't want to prematurely wear anything out. And especially there we go. Now, pretty well simple. I mean, it's just literally that easy to start your conversion. Line up your cap, go ahead and uh, take, what did I say, it was six or eight, something like that. We'll go ahead and put this in. Let me go ahead and get all these um, put on, get this cover bolted up, and I'll show you all the right. finished product. This is, uh, I don't know whether to call this a project or this is going to be my next victim. Uh, this is a Duratrax, I believe, let me see if I can find the model information. Uh, I believe this one is going to be the RTX 27, or I believe it's a, or it's a Warhead. It's one of the two, and the problem is I bought this secondhand. Um, couldn't beat it for the price of what I paid. It was basically intact, missing the nitro engine. It only had, had takes uh, two shocks per axle. It only had the front four. It was missing the rear. So to get it as a roller, kind of swiped and swapped around parts. But uh, the purpose of this video is to show you what I was, uh, what how this all is going to work. You notice now everything is done, it's all together, gears, everything meshed up, and it's literally, at that point, literally just drop in and bolt. Well, got to adjust motor mounts, but that's basically it. Once uh, Now that it's in here, bolt it down, connect uh, my ESC, and for that, this is the 150 amp um, hobby wing. 3, uh, 3S Memonum, 6S uh, Max, built-in cooling fan, everything's ready to go. It's literally after this is plug play and a little bit of uh, programming, which is pretty cool about this one. 
Uh, make sure you can see all that. It comes with the programmers, what I like. Um, Castle was, was my favorite brand, but seeing the, how they make you purchase everything else separate, just said the hell with Castle, and I'm sticking with Hobby Wing right now. I mean, you think about it. For the price I paid, you got a cooling fan included, you got a programmer included. Castle, everything else is purchased separately. So that's my take on that. But let me know what y'all guys think. Um, easy conversion. Within an hour, I can, if less, I can have this thing running. It's going. I'm playing. Uh, we'll see if the post office delivers my new remote. I might just have this thing up and going in an hour. Well, guys, always please rate, subscribe, comment down below. If you're seeing this on social media, share it for me. Pass this on. Share it with your friends, your buddies. I'd like to get my name out there in the RC world. I'm still learning. I'm not a professional. But as always, thumbs up, guys, if you like this, if you like the project. If you like anything about this video thank you so much guys